Hey guys, I am Mrs. Stoser, and I'm either going to be your teacher for this year or I'm going to be your child's teacher for this year. And I just wanted to do a brief introduction, especially if you don't get to make it to open house or um, conferences later in the year, just um, something a little bit different that your child is going to be experiencing this year um, in, her, in his or her chemistry class, and that is the flipped classroom. So I'm just going to do a brief overview of what it is and what it looks like and how it's going to be handled within the class. So what does it mean for a classroom to be flipped? I don't know if anybody's heard this before that's listening to this video, but all that it means is that it moves from a traditional classroom where a teacher lectures during the school bell and then sends the student home to go and do the practice problems by themselves. Okay? A flipped classroom kind of turns it on its head. The student, instead of getting a lecture inside of a classroom, goes home, watches the lecture at home, and then comes into the classroom and allows more time for activities and allows students to help master content. There are lots of positives that people have found in um, doing a flipped classroom, and I've just listed a few of them, but I'll just go over it really quickly. What happens is, is a student, when they're at home, they learn the knowledge and they comprehend the knowledge from the lecture by themselves. And then what we do is we go in a little bit more in depth in class and allow the students to develop mastery and critical thinking about the information, whether it be evaluating something that's happening in real life or doing a lab that may, um, that may the, stu the student may be more interested in. Um, students can watch the lectures as many times as they want. If they want to watch a lecture before a test, that's an option. They're still there. Um, they can watch the video lecture as intro to content, but also can use it as review, which is what I just said. I'm sorry. It'll, in watching these videos at home, it allows me to collect data instantly about how the child understood or how you understood the content, and it allows me to form my lesson for the next day to make sure that we get the most out of the 48 minutes that we have together. Um, these are just a few comments that my students that I had from last year stated about the flipped classroom um, idea. Um, it gives more information, it's normal lectures and they're quicker. I can watch them more than once, rewind them. I like how easy it is to take notes instead of in class and it gives more time to do practice instead of having to spend a whole bell on explaining a topic. So you'll notice that this is actually the format that I use um, for my flipped lessons, okay? But I don't use PowerPoint. You or your child will either ha will have a packet of notes that you see here on the screen, okay? And what I do during the notes is I explain the notes as I write them and you're, then your child follows along. And then at the end of the notes, if there's a possible practice problem, I work through a practice problem to allow the child to, or you, to um, see what a problem would actually look like. Okay, And I do that because there's evidence that shows that students are more likely to get more out of a lecture, a video lecture, if it's done by their actual teacher that they have in class. So what do the videos allow? It allows um, students to move on to new material after their assessment. It's good technology in the class and all of our blended labs just got new Chromebooks so this is an excellent resource for us to utilize. It gives us ton more practice which allows us to move towards mastery and allows students to take ownership of their learning. And I'm finding that students are able to move on to more critical thinking problems. Okay so the last thing that I kind of want to talk about, because this is really important, because this is going to be a new concept that the students are probably not really familiar with. Um, and the students are expected to take responsibility for their own learning, or for your own learning. And this is going to be accomplished through this thing called a whisk sheet. Okay, These whisk, whisk sheets will be either weekly or bi-weekly. Okay? And the student will be expected to complete these whisk sheets by certain deadlines and have them turned in, okay? And what this sheet is, is it allows, if a student gets done with Monday's activity, 
it allows them to move on to Tuesdays. And if the student finishes the whole week, they can move on to their extra activities that they have to complete, which include reading scientific literature and listening to podcasts that reflect or enhance the information that they're learning in the class. Ultimately, this class is what I'm expecting is that so needless to say, I am super excited about this year because I'm super excited about the amount of information that I'm going to be able to pass on to you or your child. Um, chemistry is a really awesome class. I love it. Um, it's a topic that I love so and it's so close to my heart. So I hope that I can transfer that love um, to you or your child. Thanks for watching.